today we're going to talk about the very well known 511 Rush 12 pack. Uh, we'll do an overview of it and uh, give you some thoughts on it here. First of all, I've had this pack for about two to three years, maybe four. I've had it for a long time. Uh, I've taken on multiple hikes, multiple trips, multiple sessions of use, and uh, it has held up very, very well. I mean, it's a thousand D Cordura, uh, so it is a tough, tough pack. A little bit on the heavy side, if you're into hiking and stuff like that, uh, it's not a weight saver, but uh, it is by no means a wimpy pack. So, like I said, we will do a quick overview here of the pack itself and just give some general thoughts. Uh, first of all, in case you don't know, the whole thing is covered in molly. Uh, you can see that here on the front. Uh, you got molly all the way down the sides. I have some external pouches on there right now because uh, I just had it set up for another class. And uh, same thing on this side, all the way down the have molly. Uh, it does come with the two compression straps on the side here, so you can clip in there and tighten those down, um, tighten them up down your leg. Uh, on the bottom here, we have a admin pouch. So, a couple things about this. Uh, it has a pen organizer here for some pens or whatever. Two little slip pockets right here. A separate slip pocket here. A larger slip pocket in the back. And then this feature here, just a zip slip dump pouch in the other pocket in the back. On the inside flap here, it has these two pockets. And these are sized for a AR-15 magazine, so you can put two AR mags in there if you want. Another thing to note in the accessory panel here is it, do have, it does have two key fobs, two hard points for keys. If you wanted to put keys in here at all, you got two key sets that you could do put in there. Another use I have found for these AR-15 pouches is they also hold Israeli bandages uh, just perfectly, so there's a great place to stow medical gear in here as well. Uh, Velcro patch here, and then a Velcro field here. This is kind of a sorry Velcro field here. It's the name tape. Uh, up here, I like this pocket a lot. I use that all the time when I use this pack. But this is a quick little um, dump pouch up here to put little things in there. I put like headphones, gum, um, whatever, cell phone chargers, stuff I need to get in and out a lot. On the top, of course, it does have that magical glasses case, uh, and it is. Let me see if I can show this to you. It is felt lined, uh, so you can put the glasses in there just by themselves. I always just like having the case. Uh, grab handle at the top, you know, reinforced stitching, box stitch on the ends. You got a little piece of loop here and here if you wanted to attach something there. Um, and then it is, you know, detailed stitched over, double wrapped, all that stuff. They have two ports here for your hydration bladder. One on this side, one on this side. The hydration bladder itself, goes in here, this is where your hydration slip is, here's the place to hook it up. A note about this, when I looked up to buy a hydration bladder, they said that a one liter is what fits in here. Uh, that's a lie, a one liter easily fit in there. You could probably fit uh, a two, maybe a three liter uh, hydration bladder. So don't be afraid of, of having lack of space in there. Buy at least the two, maybe the three. To be fair, I haven't tested those out, but I will tell you the two will absolutely fit, and the three will probably fit. Uh, and that's the Camelback, right? Camelback one, two, and three liter. Um, uh, systems are the ones that I'm specifically talking about. Uh, down here, so they do have a little bit of breathing, right? It's got these thicker pads here that's supposed to keep the, the bag off and give a little bit of airflow. It's not great. These things, as you can see, they've wore down here, but originally when I started wearing this pack, these things beat up my lower back a lot. Um, they just It just kind of got sore and I got a little like itchy and uh, kind of like some red spots in my lower back from these. They've since worn down and now they are more than comfortable, I haven't noticed it since. Drain hole around it right there. Uh, the yoke system, I'm a big fan of the 511 yoke system. Just how this rides on the back of your neck right here. Uh, very, very comfortable. You got a couple rows of molly webbing down the front. A uh, step ladder cross system for the sternum strap. Gene tighten down, whatever. Uh, I'll use that rarely. Uh, you can dump the whole pack. So if you want, uh, you can unclip the whole pack and dump it if you have to do that in an emergency. This is really a military kind of assault style pack. So if there was a reason you had to dump the pack, you could easily do that without 
you know, I'm gonna feed your arms out or whatever. It does come with a strap to put in a belt. Uh, if you want it, again, it's a 12 hour pack is what it's designed to be. It's designed to sustain you for 12 hours. So you really shouldn't need that, um, but you can add it if you want. The yolk system itself here, this is, this is pretty thickly padded. That's probably a half inch of what I'm guessing is closed cell foam in there. Uh, so that rides really nice, even with heavy loads. Like it gets heavy, but it doesn't get uncomfortable. Like nothing about this will cut into your shoulders or your body or like hurt. It'll just be heavy. On the bottom of the bag, it does have two grommet holes for drainage, uh, as well as four kind of tie down points. So if you want to tie down like a bedroll or something else, you could put some lashing in here and tie something down. Uh, a full field of molly would have been nice just because the rest of it is covered in molly, but it's not a big deal. Honestly, I've never put anything on the bottom of this pack anyway, but that would have been a nice feature to have. I don't think it is YKK zippers, I can't tell but they are extremely heavy duty. They put some paracord through them and then just tied them up with this little 511 plastic piece to kind of keep it all together. Uh, but if that ever broke or you just didn't like it, you could easily snip it off and add your own kind of lashing for the zipper. But these zippers themselves are super heavy duty, super thick, which I really like because when I've loaded this thing out and, and I've done that, putting it well beyond its intended capacity, uh, these zippers give me a lot, a lot of confidence because they're so heavy duty. One negative about this pack is down here, and they do this on a couple of their packs, but this row of molly is essentially worthless because it's not cut to size because they needed to put their little logo patch thing on it. I really wish they would stop doing that. 511, please stop doing that. You're not helping us out. Um, I understand that you want to put your logo on there, but this essentially is now two, two fields wide of molly. And so it makes it harder if you want to put a patch in this lower corner or a patch, uh, a pouch in this lower corner, you really couldn't do that. It just makes it a lot tougher. Opening the pack up here on the inside, nothing super special. Um, this is just where the glasses case is, which by the way, a note on that, when you run the hydration bladder through here, you run a, you run your cord through one of these ports, it kind of cramps this uh, glasses case where you keep the glasses. So it just makes it harder to access. This is one thing to note that I found out when I was using it. Not a huge deal, but just something to note. Uh, it has this little bungee cord dump pouch thing in the back if you want to secure something off and they're separate. I put like hats and gloves in there before and then cinch it down just to kind of keep those separate of everything, but you can do what you want. I do like this feature on the flap itself that uh, it has these mesh pockets where you can actually see what's in there, right? So right now I have some gum, I have a mag holder thing, and some earplugs. Again, set up for a class that I just took. Uh, same thing on the top here, it's just a, a mesh pocket, so you can easily see what's in there. I like that feature to be able to put stuff in there and then I can just easily see what I got going on there. Uh, I do like the full clamshell design, that's nice, that just opens all the way up. I know some people like that, some people don't. But I prefer it. Again, overall, fantastic pack. One of the things I really like about this thing is its versatility. I've used it when I've gone to take classes. I just loaded all my gear in there. It's been kind of my range bag for the weekend at a class. Uh, I've taken it on hiking trips. I've taken it on day trips. I've taken it on uh, just weekend getaways and just to kind of pack clothes in. It is an excellent, excellent versatile pack in that nature. Uh, and like I said, you know, right now I have the extra pouches set up on it, right? Because I needed more room for the class I was taking and it just holds that uh, no problem. So overall, if you're just looking for a kind of basic assault pack that you're not really sure what you might need it for yet, but you kind of want to have one to fill a variety of roles, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, I really like the size. It, it has not failed me yet. Uh, I'm sure you could get the 24 or 72 hours if you really needed to carry a lot of stuff. But for just a 12 hour pack, this is, this is the gold standard in my opinion of assault packs. Are there packs out there that are better? Yeah, I'm sure there are, I have no doubt about it. Uh, however, this one has served all the roles that I have put it in and uh, hasn't filled me yet. So I'm excited to use it, I'm sure I'll continue to use it and get a long, long life out of it. At the end of the day, uh, if this is something you're looking at or considering, I don't think that you will regret it. Okay guys, that is the 511 Rush 12 pack. Uh, I know it comes in a variety of colors, so you can pick that to your heart's content. I think, I'll put a link in the description below, but I think they're probably going for about somewhere between 85 to 100 bucks right now, give or take. Um, I would say overall it's a worthwhile investment. Like I said, I've had this for years. I beat the daylights out of it. I've used it in a variety of roles. It's never failed me. Until then, uh, if you got any questions or comments, please leave them in the, the comment section below and do brave deeds and endure.